Hi, welcome back to uh, On The Volley, uh, as we also called OTV. I'm here with Jan Eric, who's um, a Bordeaux a Glimt fan, uh, who are playing Roma tonight here in Rome. Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about a football club that maybe not a lot of us have heard about. Um, so we'll start with uh, the foundations of the club. Uh, we were founded in uh, 1916, so uh, we had a um, hundred uh, years university. Uh, five years ago and um, uh, it's been a journey you know because uh, uh, four years ago we were in the second league we played in the yeah. second league and a um, uh, year after uh, we were uh, number 11 year after number two <laughs> last year we won this year league and uh, this year we were gonna win the league as well you're uh, seven points clear aren't you yeah. I think yeah. we have uh, five games to play is that right mm. yeah okay so we hope we will win. I think your toughest your toughest game is away at Rosenborg. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So other than that, it's, it seems like it's quite quite straightforward. You never know. It's yeah. Football, you know. So yeah, yeah. 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 But we hope so. Yeah. Very good. But um, that was your first title last year as well. Uh, last year, yes. Yeah. Yes. His first uh, 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 Premier Division title. Mm. Um, so. I mean, how did that feel for winning for the first time? You know, it's, it's incredible. Mm. Uh, we were a small town in the northern part of Norway. Mm. Uh, we live 50,000 uh, people there. And uh, that we can win the league in uh, yeah. two years. It's amazing, you know. Yeah. It's yeah. all this. Uh, what's, yeah. what's, what's changed to, to get this sort of like new era? New you know, we era. have uh, new trainers, <laughs> new training team. Uh, they are awesome. They are fantastic. And... Uh, uh, one of the big uh, success is uh, we play the same formation every match, regardless who we are meeting. Uh, we're meeting Rome tonight, we're going to play the same game, same formation, and we do it uh, whoever we're going to meet. We beat Rome, Roma 6-1 six um, at home uh, last time out, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, I mean, that's a, an amazing result, uh, playing obviously one of the you know, big clubs of Europe, basically, Roma. Um, was that, is, that, is that your best result so far? Um, yeah, it was the mm. biggest night ever. Mm. <laughs> it was uh, so amazing, you know. Yeah. Mm. Tell me about the yellow toothbrushes. This is a... Um, that's <laughs> a good story, you know, because uh, <laughs> um, the fan club, um, uh, one of the uh, uh, members of the fan club, he had a, a toothbrush inside yeah. his... Uh, because he was in a, in a uh, match, um, uh, away match and he had his toothbrush in in his pocket and he was, he was gonna uh, uh, what's in English uh, the people who's gonna sing and he yeah. took it up and <laughs> suddenly it was a toothbrush and every, everyone everyone then got them and starts yes. waving them. Yes. Are they the inflatable ones or they just uh, just, just your, your, your standard toothbrush yeah. Sorry, it's you just your standard toothbrush, yes. or not any big inflatable ones. Uh, they know. have the big ones. Yeah, as okay. well. Yes. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I remember City I had this. Manchester City had this in um, with bananas when I was growing up, uh, which they, they, they don't do now. For, I think for reasons of it's not yeah, politically correct, but it wasn't about that. It was just you know it was just uh, inflatable bananas. But yeah, it was a it was a sea of uh, yellow as well, uh, which I'm sure this is uh, just just like. Uh, on tonight's game, mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Uh, you obviously think, feel you've got a chance if you beat them 6-1 two weeks ago. You know, uh, I have the belief we can beat them. <laughs> We're going to play the same formation as ever. And uh, uh, now, of course, Rome is uh, putting on the best players they have. They do it in Budo as well, uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the second uh, uh, half. And um, they didn't uh, beat us anyway. Right. So <laughs> I think we can beat them. You can beat everyone. Yeah, and you're, you're top of the group at the moment in, uh, it's yes. in the Euro, uh, UEFA Conference League. Mm. Um, so, you know, looking like you may progress here. Um, have you got any... Because you, you're, going visiting every, you're going to every away game, I, I understood. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. So yes. have you got any uh, particular cities that you want to you wanna draw so you can go and visit? I mean... Uh, you know, I was in, uh, in Sofia. Mm. saw the match there. Um, sadly, we had uh, a goal and a... Uh, um, in the end of the match, but it was uh, it was in English. Um, uh, they didn't get the, the gold, you know. Right. Um, I don't know what it is in English, but uh, uh, it was sad. We could have won uh, one nil, but uh, it was nil. 
And um, of course, it's great to be in Rome. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. But I've, I've seen that you can like kind of get rapid Vienna, maybe, or you know, trips to Vienna. Uh, maybe uh, uh, obviously West Ham is still in there, Leicester in there from the UK. Mm. Um, probably prefer to go to Vienna, I guess, than uh, one of those two. But uh, if you were to draw, if you draw rapid Vienna, you'd be there. Perhaps. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> we'll see. Very good. Very good. You know. Um, but the biggest uh, dream I can uh, imagine is uh, beating United, Manchester United, yes. in, in, back in Buda. That would be great. Yeah. That's the, the best uh, memory I would have in my life, I think. Yeah. If you beat United and ask me now. But, I mean, they're, they're, they're going to drop into the Europa League, aren't they, this year? If they, Maybe next year. I don't think year. they will anyway, because no, no, I think no, they're going to qualify. Year, but yeah. perhaps next year. Yeah. You never yeah. know. Yeah. It could be. Because you qualify for the, uh, by winning uh, the league, you qualify for the Champions League first qualifying round, yes. don't you? Uh, I think this year was yeah, Ledger, Ledger Warsaw uh, you played. Um, so obviously if you're going to win the title again this year, you, you again end up in the first qualifying round. I think, I think, you know, having this European experience, because this is essentially what the UEFA uh, Conference League was set up, so teams like uh, yours could have an experience in Europe rather than just having two matches and then it's all over uh, from the first qualifying round. Mm. Do you think having that experience this time round will help uh, next year? Yeah, I think it's uh, really important to get the uh, international uh, experience. Um, yes, so I think next year perhaps uh, we play Champions League. Very good, very good. Let's hope. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, good luck tonight um, at the Stadio Olimpico. Um, it's 8 o'clock kickoff um, in the UK, 9 o'clock here. Mm. So, uh, are you uh, heading anywhere beforehand, maybe, for a, f a few nerve settlers? I think uh, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Uh, I've seen, we've seen them out already. They're all, uh, <laughs> your fellow fans are already uh, hitting the bars. I'll be so. joined them now. <laughs> yes, that's a good, good idea. Good yes. idea. Okay, well, thank you very much again. Um, please remember to subscribe um, uh, to the channel, like if you like, share as much as you want. Um, for me and uh, Jon Eric, uh, that's us out. <laughs>